Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today's guitar lesson is going to be on the main theme from Far Cry 6. I've done a cover version of it, go and check it out so you can hear me playing it all the way through so you know what we're going to play. Uh, and just before I teach you it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notification bell as well. Uh, leave me some comments in the comment section including any songs you want to learn and if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing these videos. I've got a Patreon account, I've said it really cheaply. On there I put the tabs for this so you can print them out as well. So go and check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. My guitar's in standard tuning and I've got a capo on fret number one. Okay, the first line sounds like this. So for that, starting off with your third finger, A4. Remember you've got a capo on the first fret, so fret four is on uh, where fret 5 normally is. So A4, then you're going to play A4, so use your third finger for that, and then you can use your little finger on E4, and you're going to play the into the next bar, A4 and E4 at the same time. Then B2 with your first finger, and then back to the E4, so the first two bars. So this is in 3-4 at the moment, so the first A section I've written in 3-4, when we go to the B section, it's gonna be in 4-4. Four, four. So this has got three beats in a bar. So we go, one, two, three, one, two, three. Into the next bar, we go A2 and B4 at the same time. And in the next bar, we're just gonna play the A string. If a note's in a bracket, we're just hold, um, holding it on. We don't play the note in the bracket, okay? So you're playing just the A2, and then in bar five, you're gonna play an A2, and then a D2, and then in bar six, we've got the D2, E4 at the same time, B2, E4, and then you're gonna go to E4 and D4 at the same time, and then E2 at the end. So the whole line slowly goes one, two, three, to the next line, it starts the same, so the first two bars are the same, so we've got two, three, but then we're going to go up to fret seven on the E string and either E string, so E string at the top and E string at the bottom, um, which is where fret eight is. When you get further away from the um, capo, it's harder to see, so you've got to remember it's fret seven because we've got uh, capo on fret one, so that makes it fret eight, where fret eight normally is. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we're holding that on in the next bar and into the next bar and then you're going to play the A2 uh, on beat 2 I've written there or you could play it like we did before in, on beat 2 and. Uh, and then we're going to play which is almost the same, so 14, 15, 16, almost the same as the first line. D2 and E4, B4, E4. E4 and D4 at the same time, and then it goes up to D6 and, sorry, E6 and D4. So the whole of that second line goes. Okay, so that's the whole of the A section. Uh, hopefully that's making sense. Let's go on to the B section. Now I've written this in four. Now this is quite a weird song. Um, uh, it feels like every other, like the every other bar. You'll see I've written like these. Um, there's a little three and a dash across, like these uh, what we call minim triplets. But you've just got to play them lazy. Play them kind of a little bit out of time. So if you do like just the feel of it, so it goes like. Okay, so that's the kind of feel for a lot of this song. So we're going to play, uh, well let me just play that first line for you, so it goes. Okay, so we play A4 three times, go da, 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 and then we play the A4 and the E4, and then B2 and then E4, so it sounds like this. 
So you just sort of slow it down on those bits. Then we're gonna play A2 and B4 at the same time. So the first four bars of that line go. And then we're gonna to go to, on bar 21, we've got D2 three times. Then D2 and E4, B2, E4, E4 and D4, and then E2. So the whole line slowly goes. Onto the next line, we start with the open A string. Then open A and E4, B2, and then E4 again. E7 and E7, holding on to the next bar, then bar 29, open E's. Then the same idea, uh, E4 and D2, B2, E4. Uh, E4 and D4 at the same time, E6 and D4 at the same time, and E7. So the whole of that line goes. And on into the C section. Uh, so we're gonna play, well, let me play the first, first line for you, it goes. So for that, we're gonna play E9 and E9, so both V9s, and then the E string nearest your face another three times, so you get. And then this part is like the bit we've done before. So A4, E4, down to the B2, and then the E4. Then we play A2 and B4, and play the bass note another seven times. So let's play the first two bars of that, uh, sorry, first four bars of that line we've got. Then open E four times. E4 and D2, B2, E4, E4 and E2 nearest to your face, four times, then E2 on the top, string nearest to the floor, and E2. So hopefully this is making sense for you. So the whole line goes. To the next line, uh, it goes like this. So for that, we've got E2 twice, open A string twice, A string and the E4, B2, E4, up to E7s and then you play another three on the bass and then you can do them as triplets or uh, crotchet triplets. And then open E. E4 and D2 at the same time. B2, E4, E4 and the E2. Then E6 and the E2. So that line goes. And the last line starts off the same. Then goes to in bar 30, uh, sorry, 51. We've got A2 and B4. Then open E and the A2. Playing triplets on the bass for that, so you've got first uh, four bars of that line go. Then open E four times. E4 and D2, 
B2, E4, E4, and the E2, and then E6, and the E2, and then you've got some um, uh, quaver triplets, so you've got... So the whole line goes... And that's the whole thing, so let's put it all together. I do hope you found that little guitar lesson useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, leave me some comments in the comments section, including any songs you'd like to learn, where in the world you're from, I'd love to hear from you guys, uh, just what you thought of the video. If you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing these videos, and you want the tabs for this, because I put loads of tabs on there, um, I've got a Patreon account, I've said it as cheaply as possible, but any donations, you know, greatly appreciated, it really does help me do these videos. Thanks for watching this, I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.